Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and this is Tiny Towers for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. In this tiny park, you must finish building the five existing coasters. Your objective to finish building all five of the partially built roller coasters in this park, designing them to achieve excitement ratings of at least 6.4. Okay then, so we like these ones. There's been a few of these and we've always had fun playing them. It's a very small very small park so what we usually do with these ones then is we normally build some normal rides build a normal sort of park to get the guests in and get the money starting the rolling and then crack on with the coasters but because it's such a small park i think it might be best if we just start with the coasters but just in case you do want to build a park let's go through the let's go through what we've got so we're charging for rides then we've got not a bad selection of of gentle rides to begin with i mean we could put down some of these if we wish these three here and uh, get some guests that way we've got so these are the five coasters then that we're going to be using a wooden coaster corkscrew twister inverted roller coaster and vertical drop um not a bad selection of thrill rides either that's these are pretty cool um these ones here fairly small and earn a lot of money um some water rides and not a bad selection of shops but we're not going to use any other rides i think what i will do is i'll put down a kiosk and some shops just down here out of the way i'll put the umbrellas up to 20 pound that way then if it rains we'll earn a lot of money if it doesn't rain then the guests will go on the ride so what i'll do then we've got a vertical drop so that would be this one here i can tell i can tell straight away by the by the steep hill by the steep cable left there so um chain left so i think this is the one i'm going to open first because this is the one i'm going to target building because this should be fairly simple we'll just build it up fairly high have a drop um some loops and then have it back to the station now we only need 6.4 so i wouldn't beat yourself up about it if you can't manage 6.4 to be honest what you really want anything if you get six that should be fine because there's five coasters in such a small space they're going to be interacting with each other they're going to be going over each other and under each other you're going to have pathing going over and under under the tracks as well so if you start off with a coaster that's around six by the time you've done all the other coasters and the pathing, etc., you're probably going to be closer to around seven. So, um, and then, but even if you aren't, and you're still a bit short of the 6.4, you can always play with them at the end when you've got the five coasters and you've got all the money coming in. But I, I'm sure we won't have have any issues like that. So I'm going to start off with this one. I'll um, I'll charge as much as I can. So we may even be able to get away with charging them 20 for a for a ride but um we'll have to see how it works when we build them so i'm going to crack on with the building then and i'll see you in a bit
it is June year two. So I had a bit of a a bit of a faff with the paths. I got rid of the the paths at the beginning, and um, and then consequently, then it was a bit of a pain putting some of the paths back in. So I think in hindsight, what it would have been better off, what I would have been better off doing is doing the the vertical drop as I've done it, or however, because they're fairly easy to get a decent excitement on. And then once I've done that and the money starts coming in, focus on building all the paths back to the main path. And then um, not just the, the paths, but also add in like a start and an end for the roller coaster. So build like a tail. So an easy way of finishing the ride and then a nice chain lift at the start. And then go around them one by one, completing them. So... What I've done then is I built the, the vertical drop first, then I built the other four. But before I tested the last coaster, what I did was I put this into um, construction mode, deleted the tile, deleted a bit of track, rebuilt it. So that way then the test results haven't come back yet. So that way then the park thinks I've only got four coasters that are over the target. Um, Whereas I know once I test this vertical drop, that will be the fifth one and we'll pass the scenario. So when I first built it, then it was 6.65 excitement. It has gone over that and we'll see that when I test it. We'll, we'll put start test now um, with all the interactions of the rides and and the pardon, etc. So after that, then I think what we did, then we went into the inverted coaster here. So when I first built it, it was 6.78. Then I had to play about with it slightly. They came back as 6.98. Now it's 7.02 with the um, with the interactions. Now, again, another bit of hindsight. I uh, I didn't really have much place to put the the chain lift for the wooden coaster, so I've had, had to go on for this steep effect and then gone through the the, the loops on the red coaster. Now that did mean I had to get rid of a cobra roll. I had a cobra roll on the red coaster there. But um, I think what it loses by losing the cobra roll, it probably makes up for by having the interactions with the wooden coaster going through the loops. You get big, big excitement boost for that, for both coasters. Um, and we've completed it. Stoo! I didn't even get a chance to finish. So I'm, I'm going to I'll finish off now so then after that then i think we did the twister that's the orange and and black one no sorry that's the vertical drop so the twister was the um can't see it is the the green and yellow one now with this one the start the end was a bit awkward so what i've done is switch off switch off supports so i've got just by here i've got a little booster you can just see it and it'll shoot it up into the station just enough so there's a block breaks there's a couple of block breaks here and then there's a booster then just to shoot it up into the station and then after that then what we've got for this one was we've got the the chain lift and then we've got it into a um we got it into a uh, chain lift booster so it shoots it up the track and then and then down we've got a large loop there we've got like this like top hat there and then we've got some twists and back back to the station and then we've got the corkscrew then i think on the twist that it did come back it was a bit intense so um that affected the excitement so what i did was i took the the booster the hill boosters out from the top couple of tiles just to get it going a little bit slower and that was enough then so wrong one so twister when we first built it was 6.7 6 6.63 now it's 6.79 from the interactions the corkscrew then that's the blue and white one so when we first built that then it was over 10 intensity so i looked at uh the stats said the lateral g's they were in the red so i looked at the i looked at the graph it's not showing me now but um i could see where it was um the lateral g's were very high now over here i had some uh, corkscrews so i got rid of that just added a nice wide bend and then the stats came back a lot better um so it was 7.29 it's now gone up slightly 
and then um, the last one then we built this wooden coaster with the, the purple trim so as I said I had the I had to do that horrible steep steep uh, hill there and again at the end I had to get rid of the cobra roll on the red coaster and then for this one then it's just a case of having a few dips again I had um, issues with high lateral G so initially I thought it was this section here so I added a break but then um, I remembered this section I'll get rid of the supports just under here I'd forgotten I, I intended to pull a block break and some some breaks just along there but I'd forgotten to do that because just underground we've got these tight bends there so I had to go underground because of the way the other coaster was there so once I did that then that um, that dropped the intensity the excitement shot up 7.81 and um, that was it that was the fifth course that we built so that before we tested it we put the we put the vertical drop into back into construction mode so we got rid of the got rid of the test results and then what's it come back as 7.26 so when i first built it then it was 6.65 and now after all the, the interactions with pathing and all the other coasters it's got 7.26 that's quite a large increase so that was tiny towers and it was quite a fun scenario i did um i did enjoy that so I'm, I'll, I'll probably be playing this again sometime um it's nice a nice quick one nice nice quick course to build in scenario uh next time i play it i might build some more flat rides and things like that at the beginning and maybe theme it or something i don't know but um yeah i'll definitely be playing this one again so that was tiny towers then i am still if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe any questions or feedback drop them in the comment section and i'll see you next time bye